previously on balls. Right, so at the moment sounding very relaxed uh, ahead of a busy weekend of Momentum One Day International Cricket is A.B. de Villiers. How's it, A.B.? I'm good in you, Darren. Top of the world. Thank you. Thanks for giving us some time to chat to us today. Is it a practice day for you guys or you guys got a chance to chill? Yeah, a bit of both. Huh? We uh, we did our hard work this morning, uh, went through the paces and we finished at about one thirty. and yeah, now it's now it's speed up and getting myself ready physically and mentally for tomorrow's battle out there. Give us a little insight then, A.B. How do you, how do you uh, physically and mentally sort of relax and get yourself ready? What do you do? Try and get my mind off the off the cricket for a for a for a bit. Every time I, I do get a gap, um, I'm I'm getting married in the month, so lots of wedding planning going wow. on at the moment. Okay. Um, dance classes, and suits, fitting on suits, and making sure everything is going well with that. So that that um, forces my you know, myself to well, that's that's forcing myself to get just my mind off the, off the cricket, which is always good. There's nothing like a wedding that's going to get oh. your mind off anything that you're doing. <laughs> Dance classes, but can't you sookie? Yes, um, I, I thought I could, uh, but I, I've learned a hell of a lot from this uh, this dance teacher called Billy. Um, I was a bit, yeah, uh, I was a bit worried when I met him at first, <laughs> but he's bloody good. Uh. <laughs> Things, uh, I've done it once and I never went back again to the Arthur Murray Don Studios <laughs> back in those days. And uh, the thing is, in your, you know, if you've got a guy like you've got Vili and they, they want to show you the move, so in front of all these people, they're standing there dancing with you. It's a bit disturbing. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that was going to be the case, but luckily I, I got to dance with my fiance. So um, it worked out quite well and I've, I've learned quite a few, yeah, I've learned a few moves and I, I think I'm going to rock it on the wedding. Eh? Yeah. Nice. Now, is the band playing at the wedding as well? Yeah, I, I can't tell you though. It's a surprise for uh, for everyone going still. But there there is a there is a guy going. I, I can give you a tip that he um, he was one of the best idols we've had before. The okay. best oh. idol. Oh. I think uh, I know. Elvis Blue. Yeah. No, they're quite a they're quite a few. Huh? Uh, uh, what about Heinz and? Uh, yeah, there's Heinz as well. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, and a lot of them from this part of the world as well. So it could be. Uh, it's a bit of a surprise. So All I'll, right. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. And uh, and now what is the uh, what is the big wedding song? Um, we're we actually mixing it up. It's, we, we, we've worked out our own little mix um, that, that we're going to dance on. I can't tell you what exactly. My fiance is shaking her head here, so I'm not allowed to, to say too much. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, what do you, you guys have? Your song, like every couple, kind of has a song that epitomizes their relationship. Do you guys have a song in particular? Yeah, we got a few, Darren, and um, the yeah the main one we're using for our for our dance is is probably that one. But we've got a other we we really like. We like um, take that from uh, Robbie Williams in his old band. Okay. Um, he used to sing "Rule the World." Uh, we we really like that song. Um, okay. Other than that, there are quite a few others. Uh, I, I can think of David Gray and, and hmm. lots of other guys that we we really enjoy together. Fantastic. You can see if you can get a Harlem shake in there. No. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no Harlem Shake and no Stop. Gangnam Style, no Birdie song and no yeah. Clap Clap song at any wedding. Aww. And YMCA. No. Or yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right. uh, that, is the, that is awesome. So exciting uh, exciting times for you there, Abby. It's fantastic. And of course, some of these guys, you know, because you're not only a cricketer, you're also a musician as well. Some of these uh, these guys that are musicians uh, tend to also play at their own weddings. You, you're not playing yourself or singing yourself, oh. are you? Shucks, no, I don't think so. I've got a nice idea from a... Uh, Robbie, uh, Robbie Peterson, uh, our spin bowler in the yeah. ODI set up a hall in, in all the all the formats at the moment. So he, he gave me a little tip to go and check out a guy on Google called Max Fly or something like yes. that. Apparently he's an amazing artist and he yeah. had something in that line with his with his wedding speech. So mm. I still got to go check that out. But I, I don't think I'm into that kind of yeah. singing thing. But maybe I'll I'll write a poem or you know <laughs> something in that line. Well, we um, wish we'll we, we wish you both all the best for your future, and uh, and, you are, and we just know it's going to be an absolutely fantastic wedding, and uh, enjoy the occasion. Of course, Thank a bit of much. a bit of I know you don't like to get your mind on the cricket, but just obviously let's be over the moon that you guys got off to not only a good start, a winning start, but an emphatic winning start for the uh, the ODI series. Yeah, I, I think we surprised ourselves in that first ODI. Um, it, 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 we, we thought it's going to be a work in progress, and it's going to take us a while to to get to that kind of form, but. Um, you got to take what you get, and, and we played really well in that first ODI, so we, we're full of confidence at the moment. Um, we really hit our straps in all, all the departments, in, in the field, bowl, bowling and batting, and um, against a really, really good ODI side. I, I know they're number six in the world at the moment, but it's it's definitely not a true reflection of, of what they can actually do and what they're capable of. So. Mm. 
we know this, it's a long series, four, four games to go, and it's by no means over, but um, very active for that start, and I, I was really proud of the way the boys performed. Yeah, and uh, the other thing also, I mean, is this something we're going to get used to, where depending on where you're playing, the conditions, what the track's like, uh, and the game situation, are we, are we sort of, must we get used to the fact that we might see different batting lineups and that there's a lot of uh, what we call floating batsmen uh, moving up and down the order um, in the future? Yeah, it's, it's quite simple. It's, it's really not a complicated thing. Um, Gary just decided to, because he knows the game quite well, um, he, he, he's sort of over the old school kind of vibe of that's the set lineup and that's how we're going about it. He, he likes to think on his feet and whenever we get a situation where the, the, the situation of the game might suit me better to go and bat, then, then I'm going in, you know. If it, if it means I've got to open sometimes, then so be it. Um, if, if he feels, if we, if we decide together that that situation is, is meant for me or or you know what, this situation is meant for a guy like David Miller, he's uh, let's send him in. Um, so it's, it's, it's not complicated at all, it's just whatever um, will suit the team best will happen. Yeah, fantastic. Well, we, uh, we really were, it was a thoroughly enjoyable game to watch, and uh, as we say, we're really pumping for that uh, that reta- retention of the world number one spot again uh, after the series. You need to win four, I think, uh, to get there. Um, Simon, final question. Yeah, Dale's back in the country, AB, which unfortunately means someone's going to have to give way for him. Yeah, look, um, Dale, he, he might not be in uh, full flight at the moment because he was on holiday for, for quite a while now, but um, Dale at 80 or 90% is still <laughs> probably one of the best in the world. So someone's going to have to make way for him. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still going to happen to tomorrow, maybe early on Sunday, but we, we, we're making a decision tonight. Um, mm. But we, we might see Dale tomorrow. Yeah, it'd be nice to get him back into into that kind of form we saw in the test matches. Um, I think it could be handy against the Pakistan team tomorrow. Fantastic. Uh, just a final note, by the way, we're busy here and we've, uh, we've had people like Joe Peterson on and spoken to Scott Berger, but uh, towards the end of the year we, uh, we want to put together a, a music concert that only features sports guys. So okay. Cricketers, yeah. the rugby. No, there's some really talented guys out there, like uh, Scott Berg. We didn't even know how good Joe, Joe Peterson was as well. And there yeah. are some really, really good guys out there. So obviously in our discussion we said, well, AB has to be there and probably the headline act. So, uh, so oh my goodness we're going we're gonna to chat to you about that later in the year find a gap when it's uh, at Wim Skulkberger's farm up down there in the Cape it'll be really nice so we if hope the, that hope we can get you guys there if the wine is on the house I might be in the house <laughs> of course it'll be uh, the wine will definitely Sounds be good, on the eh? house <laughs> awesome Amy all the best for the weekend and uh, yeah, good luck for the uh, the wedding arrangements and everything as well thanks guys uh, have a good one thanks, thanks man. cheers Abby cheers, Abby. cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There we go, right. A.B. de Villiers joining us on uh, Balls Radio and Mix 93.8. As soon as he said the cricket stuff, he gets his mind of cricket. I'm like, well, we can't talk to him about cricket now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we got on to the wedding. Uh, yeah. Wedding mm. Big wasn't, day, eh? Wasn't Dale Oof. overseas also with like... To see his girlfriend. He's going over the yacht. His model. Are you spotting mm. some sort of Titans kind of pattern here? Boys grazing knees. Mm-hmm. Tying the knot. Oh, is that what it's called? Grazing a knee, but... <laughs> <laughs> this is... Balls Visual Radio. Darren, Simon, Kate and John. Weekdays from 3pm to 6pm Central African Time. Balls.co.za